Hello everyone, welcome back to another video of trailhead explanation. In this video, we are going to cover the last unit, make a dynamic bundle with filter rules from the module product rules and Salesforce CPQ. This is the last unit of this module. Now, as part of this unit's challenge, we will be creating a dynamic bundle for the 4K video camera bundle. We'll create a feature that dynamically presents only SD card products. So we are going to majorly work on how we can create a dynamic bundle. So let's quickly launch our trailer playground and see this in action. So let's go to your Trailhead Playground, open Salesforce CPQ application. Now, the very first thing that we have to do is we are going to create a feature on the 4K video camera product. Feature name will be storage and we have to follow all these settings as well. So let's just copy this name, feature name and go to the products. Here is the product. Let's go to all and open up the 4K video camera. So here it is, 4K video camera, open this up. Now let's go to the related tab and here there is already one feature, which is basics. Now we are going to create another feature, create a new one. Mm -hmm. Feature name will be storage. Minimum option, we have to keep it zero. Number we have to give 20 and option selection method will be dynamic. That's all, just click on save. Now, the next thing is we have to create a product rule and the rule name will be SD card filter. This will be a filter type of product rule. So let's just go to product rules, click on new. Paste the name type will be filter, scope will be product, evaluation will be on load and finally make it active, condition met will be all. Just click on save again. Now, next up, we have to create an action to the new product rule. Type will be default filter. We are going to filter field by the product code. Operator starts with filter value SD card. So let's just copy this filter value. Go back here. Go to the related section and create new action. Now type will be default filter. Filter field will be product code. Operator starts with and filter value we are going to paste the product code which we copied from the challenge. Just click on save and we are good with our action as well. So our action simply states that we are going to filter out the products where product code starts with SD card. Let's just go back. Now, finally, we have to create a configuration rule, which will specify that this product rule should work only for the 4K video camera. And we are also going to specify the product feature. So let's go back there, scroll down, and we are going to create the configuration rule. Make this active product will be 4K video camera and product feature as well. We have to specify, we have already created the product feature. So let's just search it over here, storage. There it is, select this one. Rest we have to keep as it is. We are not changing much over here. Just click on save. Now it's time to see this in implementation. So let's go to our code. Open any of the code, go to edit lines. The 4K video camera is already there. That's not much of a problem. We'll go to add products again and we'll select this 4K video camera. Click on select. Now, as soon as you click on select, this will open up the configure product screen. And you can see that under storage feature, this is the feature that we created. Under storage feature, we got an option or the hyperlink add option. So this basic feature was already there. If you had noticed uh, when we were creating the feature on our product uh, 4K video camera, there was already one feature present. If I'll go here, go to related. So basic is already there, which is coming on the top and the storage is which we have created. If you click on add option, now this is going to show us all the products where product code starts with SD card. 
So now if you can notice that product code here of all the four products are starting with SD card. So let's just go and select one of uh, the options, one or two, or whichever you want. So let's just select two, one TB and 256 GB. Click on add. So now here you can see that these two product options has been added. So that's all we had to do. Uh, and this is how the dynamic filters work. We can just specify that it's a filter product rule and using the default filter we can specify in our actions of the product rule that what type of filter uh, what type of products you want to see in the mini production selection screen so if you notice this closely it uh, looks like similar to the product selection screen which comes up when we click on the add product button on the quote line editor right so this is a mini version of that product selection screen which is coming from the product rule filter criteria or the action criteria so that's all just click on save okay, video camera camera mic sd card of 256 gb as well as sd card of 1 tb so all of these got added and that's what we have to do in this challenge we were seeing how dynamic filters can be executed and how they actually work so let's just go back to our challenge and just see if we have passed this challenge there you go this unit as well as this module is completed see you in the next video with another unit or module till then take care thank you so much